voices. My name is Jason Newland. My website is Jason as well as this one. I do Let Me Boy You to Sleep, which is a very boring, random ramble about nothing. I do an ASMR whisper version of that. I do a relaxed sleep hypnosis daily. I do various other ones, a smoking, stop smoking one. Got podcasts for pain relief, chronic pain relief. They're all available on all the main podcast providers, such as Spotify. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Luminary, Podomatic, Spreaker, lots of different ones. comfortable sitting in a chair that supports your body or lying down on a bed next to me is a dog that's sleeping and my stomach's gurgling for some reason there's a pigeon outside calling out for his girlfriend. So there's always going to be background sounds. There's something that I do, which maybe you do as well. Is I find that certain times my eyes and just listen to the sounds that surround me. And I find that just doing that simple thing really relaxes me, calms my mind. is my body. I feel very peaceful. 
do this in busy places. For example, before Christmas I fractured my back and I was in the uh, emergency ward for about 12 hours at the hospital. And one of the things I did to relax myself was just closing my eyes. just listening not not to anything in particular not to any one sound or any one conversation because I was surrounded by people also waiting but just the overall awareness What's going on With, without actually being interested in the whys or the where's or the when's, not being interested in what people are saying, but just hearing the sound. change something that perhaps you found annoying in the past to just being a sound turning it from a noise into a sound it's something relaxing about just being in the moment not contributing just observing not judging just accepting Just noticing and I know it probably sounds like I've got an elephant on my sofa but it's actually just a very large dog the sounds of the birds in the garden train in the distance there may even be cars going past the building and it just doesn't matter because that part of your brain or your mind that maybe would normally be concerned by the sound just doesn't care anymore not interested And I was thinking, what is this like? What is it similar to? And then I remembered something that I can't really do myself, but I have done when I was younger. And that is lie on a beach on a summer's day. I can't do it because I'd burn very quickly, very easily. But I have, you know, in the past. 
just sat out in the garden or on the beach when I was little and the sound you know you got the sound of the waves but there's also sounds of thousands of people on the beach also the sounds of children laughing Maybe some people have taken, they're playing music for their little group. I don't mean like a band, but going back to my childhood, probably a tape recorder or a radio. Some people just talking, maybe on the phone. sounds of the seagulls you'd hear planes going over in the distance perhaps speedboats on the water the sound of splashing of people in the sea swimming and playing and even though this all that sound when you lay there or if you're in a deck chair or whatever the situation is the sound just washes over you almost becomes part of the, the comfort that you feel, the relaxation that you experience, the peacefulness, the deep peacefulness, relaxed, calm, loose. sometimes when I'm on a train of course I can hear the sound of the train going but maybe it's raining so I can hear the rain on the windows perhaps it's windy I can hear the wind if there's other passengers nearby passengers further away so I can't hear what they're saying but I can hear the sounds of their voices there's a peacefulness a calmness last year I was in an airport to the next plane it was quite busy in the departure lounge I just closed my eyes I could hear the people talking I could hear the planes taking off and landing the tannoy system with the announcements the sounds of the cleaners their machines, the rattles of the suitcases with wheels on them, footsteps, and I found that I didn't attach myself to any one sound. It becomes almost like an orchestra. melts into each other gentle peaceful slow very slow
of being able to do that in a busy place makes it so much easier to do it in a quiet place. The background here is really mainly just the big huge dog on my sofa with his stomach gurgling and his heavy breathing. He's staring at me now, so I'm going to try and keep my eyes closed so he doesn't get up. He's like a giant when he walks. Thump, 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 like that on the floor. The building shakes, and none of none of that is true, although his stomach is gurgling. I thought it was my stomach to start with, but it's his. This is something that you can test any time where you can close your eyes safely, whether you're on a bus, a train, obviously not if you're driving, but if you're a passenger, on a plane, waiting in a waiting room, maybe the doctors waiting at a train station, perhaps waiting for somebody in a restaurant and you're waiting for them, they've not turned up yet, you can just close your eyes for a, a minute or so, just notice the sounds around you. you can do this without closing your eyes. Noticing how calm your mind becomes. How relaxed you start to feel. Because there's no emotion attached. There's no frustration attached to the sounds. It's almost as if they don't matter. They're just there. And it's fine. And by focusing on them actually causes you to feel more relaxed. stimulates that part of your brain that sends those chemicals to your muscles to just let go. Your mind slows down even more. And there's that sense of peace. A sense of just this 